Hey everyone, Tanner Bell here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be here for part two of our Cricut Christmas tree top to bottom. In our first project, we're gonna make these really awesome 3D Cricut Christmas trees that I absolutely love and you're going to love them too. So it's really easy. All we're gonna to wanna to do is click make it and it's gonna align all our pieces out for us on the map. This project is super simple. It only takes four mats and we're going to use Cricut craft board in white today. It's going to look great, so simply cut out your pieces and I'll teach you how to build it. Now that you've cut out all your pieces for your 3D tree, what we're going to do is we're just gonna fold these over and use a bone folder to get a nice crisp edge. After you've scored all of your pieces, what we're going to do is we're just gonna add hot glue and start piecing these folded pieces together. After you build the tree, we're going to add a more finished look to it by gluing it onto a wood slab ornament and then adding some fake snow. So what you're going to do is take your hot glue gun in the center of a wood slab piece, just apply a big glob of hot glue and you're going to want to work quick. So just like so, we're going to take that and we're going to place the tree right smack in the middle. And then we're going to take our snow and flock it all around the tree. Don't worry, you can clean this up really easily after it dries. It's that easy to make 3D trees with your Cricut. I love this for your decor this holiday season. All right guys, for project number two, we're gonna make one that I've seen all over the internet this year and it's Ray Dunn Inspired Ornaments. It's super easy to buy an inspired font by Ray Dunn offline and download it to your computer and then be able to use it in Cricut Design Space. If you didn't know, you can use any font that you have on your computer in Design Space, which is really easy. So as you can see here, we've already went through and designed a few different words that we're going to go ahead and cut out and put on some really awesome ornaments that we picked up at the craft store. This is a super easy idea and I love being able to do this because it really gives a custom look to your ornaments.
Weren't these really awesome? They're super simple and they're gonna look great on your Christmas tree this year. You can pair it with some colored ribbon to match your decor and it's going to be great. All right guys, for our third project, we're going to make some really fun iron-on wood slice ornaments. They're gonna be super fun, so let's jump into it. All right guys, after you've cut out your little iron-on pieces, what we're going to do is preheat our easy press to 300 degrees and set it for 40 seconds. So this first step is to take your easy press and preheat your wood. You preheat it for about five seconds and then you're going to place your iron-on onto the ornament. Once you're good to go, you're gonna take your easy press and count down for 40 seconds. Once you hear the beep, you're going to raise up and you're gonna take a warm peel. So right now you can see a few little bubbles on your ornament, but that is totally normal. And then you can just peel this up. Aren't these adorable? I love these. So we're just going to add some red ribbon to it to finish off our ornament. All right guys, all the projects are complete and we are so excited with how the Christmas tree looks. I love that we were able to give a buffalo plaid vibe to our Christmas this year, as I think you guys are going to enjoy it as well. I cannot wait to see your Cricut Christmas trees, so be sure to share them with me on social media. Our, my social links are down below. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more DIY videos with Cricut, and as always, check out the links below to links to Cricut, links to our website, and get all the details for these projects. See ya!